What is Bitcoin? To simplify, Bitcoin is a network of independent computers that generate, propagate, and verify monetary transactions. What the f- What's up everybody? Welcome to the FanF Live channel and today we are going to talk about Bitcoin. So what exactly is Bitcoin? Is it a true investment? Is it a place to park money? Is it store value? Is it technology powered by blockchain? The answer is pretty much yes to all of it. Since its release in 2009, Bitcoin has gone through a ton of scrutiny from government agencies around the world to banking institutions to major investment firms. People consider it a fad, a scam, and a way to do illegal activities through dark money. But throughout Bitcoin's evolution, something changed in 2017. In December of 2017, Bitcoin's value capped out right under $20,000, capturing the attention of the financial world. It opened the floodgates to novice investors, throwing their money towards not just Bitcoin, but anything cryptocurrency. Unfortunate for some, Bitcoin started doing a steady decline until hitting bottom recently at 3,500 only to make a massive comeback in recent weeks. Bitcoin reached recent new highs, breaking $40,000 per Bitcoin. Due to the pandemic, the U.S. has been printing money like crazy. Somewhere between 20 and 25% of the U.S. dollar in circulation right now was printed in 2020, which could only result in the devaluation of the U.S. dollar. So people are looking for places to store or put their money. Not only that, this time around, we have institutions like American Express, PayPal, JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, all investing or having some type of integration with Bitcoin. JP Morgan has predictions of Bitcoin being valued at $146,000 per Bitcoin in the near foreseeable future. So what should the average person do about Bitcoin? Should they invest, not invest? Well, it really comes down to what you want to achieve and more importantly, what your financial situation is. Also, you have to test out your pain tolerance because Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general is highly volatile. Bitcoin had a all-time high at 41,000 plus only to see nearly overnight drop down to 35,000. So if you don't have the stomach to handle those drastic changes literally minutes at a time, not even days or weeks, but minutes at a time, then you have to really rethink this. There are different ways and different avenues to invest your money. For me, I do invest in cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, but I only invest money that I'm willing to lose and never see again. So really, you have to evaluate and decide for you. Where Bitcoin is going, I definitely don't think it's a fad. I think there is solid technology, especially with the blockchain technology, that's in there for many utilization, not just currency. Again, with the devaluation of the US dollar, more and more people are looking for alternatives in spending and storing cash. How Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies will evolve and how our whole infrastructure will evolve is yet to be seen. People can only make projections, even experts can only make projections at their best guesstimate based on the information they have now. Nothing is guaranteed, so anytime you invest, understand that there's a risk. Going back to the saying, no risk, no reward. For me, I'd rather put my investment capital into something more tangible and more concrete such as real estate. Regardless of what happens to the economy and currency, people will always need a place to live. Each investor is different, so you have to decide what is it that you want. Do you want quick returns or do you want long-term profits? Whichever way, decide what's best for you. Decide what type of money that you can raise and you can invest and go for it. But again, only use money that you're willing to lose. And to the Asian parents out there that are about to celebrate Lunar New Year, maybe instead of $20, $10 or $5, See if you can buy fractions, small fractions of Bitcoin and put it in the red envelope. Your kids may thank you in about 10, 15 years. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you give it a like, hit a thumbs up and add some comments if you have any questions about Bitcoin. If you want further information on how blockchain works and how Bitcoin works, let me know. I'll bring on special guests to break that down even further. For now, be sure not to miss the next episode. I'm going to show you how I made $50,000 with two flips using none of my own money. So make sure you guys join. We'll see you next time and be sure to share it with your friends. Until then, we'll catch you next time.